What's going on guys and welcome back to another Five Nights at Freddy's VR Help Wanted video. Now in today's video we're going to be discussing the brand new demo that was actually playable over at PAX East. So if you guys don't know PAX East is currently happening right now. They have a Five Nights at Freddy's VR Help Wanted demo there and a bunch of people have screenshots from it, gameplay, and even an article that we're going to discuss in this video and it's going to be super exciting. But of course if you guys want to see more Five Nights at Freddy's VR videos like this one be sure to smash that like button down below and while you're down there if you haven't already hit that subscribe button because you do not want to miss the upcoming Five Nights at VR content coming soon to the channel it's gonna be insane anyways let's go ahead and get into the breakdown so we're gonna start from an article from Engadget like I said I have everything I talked about linked in the description so if you haven't had a chance be sure to check it out and uh, you know if you want to see any of this stuff in person you definitely can't so we're gonna start with the article though and then get into the gameplay screenshots later on so this is from Engadget it's titled Five Nights at Freddy's is even more creepy in VR and this is somebody who's actually played the PAX East demo which is super exciting so he says officially it's titled Five Nights at Freddy's VR Help Wanted, and the new game is entirely VR based, so you'll need to own a PSVR, Oculus, or Vive headset in order to play. That said, you're free to play with either the Move controllers or the regular DualShock 4. Existing fans of the Five Nights at Freddy's franchise will see a whole bunch of familiar animatronic faces. The VR version feels a lot like the original games in the franchise. So dark and dank, you can almost feel your shoes sticking to the dried soda on the floor. According to Steel Wool Studios, co-founder Jason Topolsky, still, I'm sorry, I'm still probably butchering that last name, FNAF VR will include 20 puzzles, wow, which are based closely on the challenges from the first five FNAF games, along with an equal number of original puzzles for a total of 40. Wait, so we're getting 20 puzzles of FNAF games that we've been through, one through five, and then another 20 of original puzzles. Holy, this is going to be a very long game. 40 puzzles in total. That's insane. I was able to play two of them during the demo. The first involved repairing and servicing one of the Fazbear's terrifying animatronic singers, which was akin to playing Operation in VR. Having to delicately extract the eyeballs from a murder bear's robotic head is surprisingly nerve-wracking, especially since you don't really have any tactile feedback for what you're doing. Oh my, so you've got to actually pull out one of his eyeballs and put it in or something like that. I don't know, it sounds insane. The other challenge set me in an escape room-like situation, specifically a darkened air duct. Oh, we know who's in there. Inhabited by an animatronic rat, dead set on setting me dead. So I'm assuming by rat he meant mangle, but I, I don't know. I could ward it off with my headlamp, but since I also needed to see what I was doing while twisting various valves, flipping switches, and circuit breakers, I'd have to listen for that sneaky guy to approach from behind and quickly spin around to drive it away before quickly returning to my work. It was a hair-raising experience. This is a horror game to be sure, but it's a wholesome sort of horror. There are jump scares galore, but none of the gratuitous blood and body horror you find in, say, the Dead Space series. Even the antagonist animatronics are goofy looking in the right lighting. Oh, that's kind of sad. <laughs> but it's in the dark where they're most dangerous. Five Nights at Freddy's VR Help Wanted comes to PSVR, Oculus Steam, and HTC Vive at the end of April and will retail for $30. So I think that gives us a lot of information. Not only do we know that we know what two of the levels, two of the challenges are going to be, but we also know that there's going to be 40, yes, 40 challenges in total. That is absolutely insane. Not only that, but we also know that we now know that it's coming at the end of April and will cost us $30, which is not a bad price at all. It's kind of what I expected it to be. I expected it to be like 30, 45, something along those lines. And I mean, that's perfect. I think that's literally the perfect price. It's super exciting that we're gonna have 40 different levels to play through. And like 20 of them are gonna be their own unique challenges. That is pretty insane. I could not be more excited about for the game after reading that. I love the fact that he also said that, you know, it's not a terrifying game, you know, at times. It's also extremely terrifying at other times. So I, I just like the whole idea of that. I think it's going to be great. I mean, just reading all this is super exciting. But that was just the article. And by the way, I didn't have that on screen because it's a super long article. There's really no point if I was reading it out to you guys. But these are I'm going to have on screen because we have some brand new screenshots from FNAF VR Help Wanted. And they are very, very cool. Now, some of them are old, so I'm not going to show those. 
but others are new and let's just begin so the first one we have here is this right here now this is the office from fnaf 1 obviously so it looks like this is somewhere at the beginning of the game it looks like we're currently monitoring the cameras we've got chica on um it looks like camera six i can't really tell though it's really tiny but it looks like chica's right there it's obviously one of the dining room cameras and uh you got like the cupcake on the right side the timer 2 a.m it looks a lot like the fnaf vr that we played the fan made version that is and uh yeah it just it looks great overall now the next screenshot we have here is from fnaf 3 and this one we have yet to see i think we saw it but it was like a very blurry version of it but you can see it's currently 1 a.m in fnaf 3 he's flipping through the cameras obviously spring trap's gonna show up but you can see you've got like the foxy head room right there and everything just looks completely remastered if you guys remember in fnaf 3 it did not look like this so it looks like they've completely remodeled the entire game and that means they probably did the same for fnaf 4 fnaf 5 all of them and that's really really insane and super exciting because i want to see what the rest of the game's gonna look like now that's awesome and then next up we go into the fnaf 2 location and uh you can see in fnaf 2 we have toy freddy just you know making his way down the hallway to come attack us it's currently 2 a.m we have the cameras off for whatever reason and toy freddy is right in front of us obviously we have our flashlight probably in one of our hands we're shining it right at him to keep it keep him away from us and it's just a really cool looking screenshot i mean just keep that keep that huge animatronic bear all the way on the other side of the hallway all right nowhere near me um anyways some of the other screenshots we have here we've already seen before but they're like different versions of it so the first one we have here is actually from chica as you guys know we get to work on her she has cockroaches all over her head inside of her eyeballs and stuff like that um this is actually from that section right there but for whatever reason there's like blue smoke coming up behind her and it also looks like she's missing her left arm i don't know if it's just like the angle she's in or what but why is there blue smoke behind her why is there a toxic symbol on the top left and just what is going on in this whole screenshot something about this is just interesting and weird i don't know i gotta figure out what it is though now the next screenshot we have here we've seen this one before too this was actually from one of the original teasers on scott games but it was in black and white and now we have a full colored version of it it's bonnie obviously when you're working on him it looks like he's the one that you're gonna have to put an eyeball in so that's that's great you know you just you're gonna have to roll an eyeball right into that socket and he's probably gonna attack us it's gonna be terrifying now the next one we have here is from freddy fazbear himself and this one gets interesting because at first glance it just looks like you know a freddy animatronic you got his chest opened up you've got a red button in there that you're probably gonna have to press along with a bunch of other circuits and valves that you're gonna have to mess with but look to the right side of his chest he has a human body inside of his animatronic suit like or not a human body but i mean i guess you can like call it like a human shoe there, there's a shoe inside of freddy i don't why is there a shoe inside of freddy i don't know obviously it's not like a, a human body but it's it's a shoe from a little kid nobody finds that to be a little bit suspicious <laughs> there's no like blood or anything in there so it's not like he, he took out a kid inside of his stomach but how did his shoe get in there i i don't know man i think that's gonna be exciting to be able to find out if we ever do find out that is anyways the next screenshot we have here is of working on foxy himself now in the game in, in the demo screenshots or in the actual demo gameplay which i'm i don't i don't think i'm showing this video because you know it's kind of not mine so i don't want to just show somebody else's gameplay but uh, i have it linked in the description if you guys want to check it out you definitely should though because it's really cool um but he's actually working on foxy and you have to put on foxy's head in vr <laughs> so that's what this section is from we just put on foxy's head and now he's just staring at us he actually activates in that demo and starts freaking out so it looks like this is from that section right there before he freaks out and uh oh boy that's gonna be scary that is gonna be really scary i don't know where we are in this location right here but oh man foxy's just staring right at us his mouth is wide open ready to eat us and his hand is just moving forward like he's just ready to grab us and take us out uh anyways for the next screenshot this one is super exciting because we go back to the fnaf 4 house and if you guys remember circus baby was in the fnaf 4 house she's hunting us down in the bedroom but she's not alone if you guys can see the screenshot right here we now have fun time freddy in the fnaf 4 house 2. now why is he here this is obviously one of their 20 new challenges i'm assuming and it looks like the fun time animatronics are gonna be in the fnaf 4 house we're gonna have to peek through the door see them and close the door before they get in and it is going to be absolutely terrifying i don't know if i'm ready for this i really don't this is going to be one scary scary game fun time freddy like oh my gosh that's gonna be freaky he's at the end of the hallway he's just staring down at us while we shine our flashlight back at him 
and he is just one creepy looking dude anyways for the final screenshot we have here it's another look at mangle coming in through the vents um and once again i actually didn't show this at the beginning if you guys remember when he mentioned i don't know if this was this video or the other one but he mentioned like a, a rat at the beginning of the video and um that was the rat he's talking about he's talking about mangle so mangles in the vent right here you can see you got like it looks like door controls or something like that i don't know what that is on the left side some kind of green light maybe it's oh if you guys remember in the actual article he talked about in the vents you've got to keep your eye on mangle and stop it from moving you have to keep your flashlight on it so maybe that to the left of mangle right there is are those valves he was talking about they have to work on to get out of there I don't know for sure, but that is an interesting theory, and I mean, that could possibly be what it is. Now, like I said, there's other screenshots here, but they're all just stuff we've seen before, so I'm not really going to discuss them. You know, like the Circus Baby one, Marionette attacking, um, Spring Trap, and stuff like that. So nothing really too new, but that is all we have so far. So we got a bunch of info on the 40 challenges that are going to be in FNAF VR. We got a price, we got a possible release date of end of April, along with new screenshots, everything like that. Um, even knowing that Funtime Freddy is going to be showing up in the FNAF 4 house and a bunch of other crazy stuff. It was a super exciting day for FNAF VR. If you guys are excited for the game and you guys want to see more gameplay of the game on this channel, be sure to smash that like button down below. While you're down there, hit that subscribe button if you don't want to miss the upcoming content I have coming on FNAF VR because there's going to be a lot of it. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out, guys.